You know, how you can communicate and how you can affect with something as intimate as food, it's amazing. I'm Anthony Walsh. Uh, I'm the corporate executive chef of OB. Anthony Walsh, it was, every day it was like by the seat of your pants, you know? He's a, he's a loud, funny guy and he makes a big present in the kitchen at all times. I mean, Anthony is, he's incredible. He's been my mentor for, you know, I'd say over, over 10 years. But he was always somebody who was so level-headed, calm, cool. The idea of Canoe, I think, has always been there to be Canadian and whatnot. You know, it's hard to define Canadian food. Uh, what is Canadian food? I think we want to define that. Anthony's always been amazing at using, you know, food from Canada, showcasing things from East Coast to West Coast. Canadian food is great because it's so wide open. There's no, nobody telling us what we have to do. I want this place to just exude, exude Canada. That's, that's ultimately what I'd like to see with the food. The convivialism, you know, this understated assuredness that I think is in, you know, is Canada. Farms are obviously hugely important to us. I mean, without them, we, we, we can't cut. We have, we have no ingredients. And the better we know the farmers and the, the more we know their crops and what's coming in the season and, and how good they're gonna be, we can really think ahead. Perfectly right. Oh. The best tomato I've eaten all year. What's wrong? It's always a great time when we get to come out to the farm, get to see what's going on and see the animals and see the great people that really do what they do so we can do what we do. It's not just about the food, it's about the service, it's about the experience. When I first uh, started working in Toronto, you know, I heard about Peter Oliver and Michael Bonaccini. I've never met two owners who knew everyone's name in the company, but they always took pride in knowing a little bit about each of their staff. It's just one of those special places that you, you want to be a part of. You put everything you have into this place and it gives you everything back. I think it's really the people. The people that I've worked with here are the things that I'm most grateful for and are my favorite things. The future of Canoe has never been brighter, you know. We, you know, we really have to protect what we've built. We have to stick, stick with it.